SpaceX's Starlink broadband service will begin in 2020, report. The U.S. Air Force is already testing it in military planes. SpaceX, the private spaceflight company known for reusable rockets and a giant, shiny starship, will begin offering its own satellite internet service in 2020, according to Space News. In fact, the U.S. Air Force is already testing it in planes. To build the service, SpaceX will have to launch up to eight Falcon 9 rockets filled with the company's Starlink satellites, SpaceX President and Chief Operating Officer Gwynne Shotwell told Space News and other reporters this week at the 70th International Astronautical Congress in Washington. We'll continue to upgrade the network until mid to late next year, Space News' Jeff Faust quoted Shotwell as saying during a media roundtable on Tuesday, October 22. We're hoping for 24 launches by the end of the year. Here's the first 60 SpaceX Starlink satellites deployed on May 24, 2019. Deployment is scheduled for T plus 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's stand by and watch. This uh, brief loss of signal was expected. We should be able to get that video back very shortly. Stand by. Starlink Constellation deploy confirmed. And we have confirmation of deploy. You can hear the team in the background. Uh, this is an incredible moment for SpaceX. You can see those flat-packed Starlink satellites slowly gliding away from the top of the second stage. This is the highest number, satellites, uh, highest number of satellites that SpaceX has ever deployed in a single time. There are no deployment mechanisms between those uh, spacecraft, so they really are just uh, slowly fanning out like a deck of cards into space. You can see those spacecraft starting to separate as they naturally glide away from each other. The sun is glinting pretty strongly off the uh, panels and the bodies of those spacecraft, uh, so it's tough to see them individually, but you can kind of see one breaking away from the pack right now. Those spacecraft will slowly disperse over time. With that uh, successful deployment, we're going to be bringing the webcast to a close. Uh, for those of you who uh, just caught the end here, we did have successful liftoff, uh, successful first and second stage and uh, activities, and then finally a beautiful deploy, as you can still see ongoing on your screen right now at 440 kilometers above the Earth. Uh, it's been a very exciting launch day today here at SpaceX, but we really are just getting started. Uh, please, thank you uh, to the 45th Space Wing for range safety and to the FAA for licensing today's launch, as well as the FCC for our first operational Starlink satellite licenses. Uh, we'd also like to thank all of our viewers for tuning in. Please follow our website and social media platforms for updates on our next missions and milestones. It's been an honor to host tonight's webcast. Have a good night. SpaceX launched the first Starlink mission, a Falcon 9 carrying 60 satellites, on May 23 to lay the foundation for a satellite constellation that will ultimately number in the tens of thousands. Another 60 are slated to launch no earlier than Monday, November 11. This week, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk used the Starlink system to send a tweet for the first time. Whoa, it worked. Musk wrote in the tweet on Tuesday. Musk used a Starlink terminal in his home to send the tweet. 
Eventually, Starlink customers will receive a box from SpaceX to access the network, Space News reported. Knowing Elon, he wants everything to be beautiful. So the user terminal will be beautiful, Shotwell said Tuesday according to Space News. Musk has said SpaceX will need at least 400 Starlink satellites in orbit for minor broadband coverage, and 800 satellites aloft for moderate coverage. The initial Starlink plan called for a mega constellation of 12,000 satellites, and SpaceX recently filed paperwork with the International Telecommunication Union (ITU) to launch another 30,000 satellites. The ITU is a United Nations agency that manages the global satellite radio frequency spectrum, among other things. Ultimately, SpaceX may not need so many satellites in orbit for global coverage. But having them available will allow SpaceX to use some satellites for customized service, Shotwell said, according to Space News. One of those potential customers may be the U.S. military. The U.S. Air Force is testing SpaceX's Starlink technology in military aircraft under a program called Global Lightning, Reuters and Space News reported. The project, which is part of a $28 million contract SpaceX won from the Pentagon last year, is testing encrypted military communications via Starlink terminals in a C-12 military transport aircraft, Reuters reported. We are delivering high bandwidth into the cockpit of Air Force planes, Reuters' Joey Roulette quoted Shotwell as saying Tuesday. SpaceX is not the only company pursuing satellite broadband services. The companies OneWeb, Telesat and Amazon have announced plans for mega-constellations of their own, but none as large as SpaceX's Starlink network. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment below to let us know what you think.